inside the Destiny Laboratory. Today I'd like to set up and do a little bit of a demonstration for you that I like to call the Earth, Moon, and Mars demo. So stand by while we set up our laboratory and improvise a little bit on board the ISS. One of the interesting concepts in spaceflight is relative distance. And today I'd like to try to demonstrate that concept using some marbles that were given to me to carry on board the station. And those marbles will represent Earth, Mars, and the Moon. This is the Earth. This marble represents its relative size. Here we have, complete with space Velcro, a model of Mars, and of course in the middle, a model of the Moon. So how do we demonstrate their relative positions in outer space? It's kind of simple, so let's give it a try. So the way we can illustrate this concept is to take a piece of string, or on the ISS it's more commonly known as green mint dental floss. So we're improvising a little today. If we take our dental floss and we wrap it nine and a half times around our model of the Earth, that represents the distance if we were to go around the distance around the circumference of the Earth at the equator nine and a half times. So if we use our model of the Earth and we position him here, hopefully I can make him steady, and we take our string that we wrap nine and a half times around the Earth to get the distance away, you can see that the moon be placed about right here. And now, given the size of our Earth and our Moon, you can see the relative distance between the two as they would be in space. Now the question becomes, where would the shuttle orbit or the space station orbit? And if uh, we can zoom in right here and you see where my pencil tip is, that's about the point where a space shuttle or the space station would orbit around the Earth. So you can see that the moon is quite a bit away from the orbit that we traverse in a shuttle or in the space station. Now the question becomes, if the moon is this far away, based on the circumference of the Earth, how far away would Mars be? Well, that's a pretty interesting problem, but if you think about it and you do the math, it turns out that Mars would be 1,400 times the length of this string. So in order for us to show the distance that Mars is away from the Earth on board the International Space Station, we'd have to go outside and we'd have to have an awfully long piece of dental floss because Mars is so much farther away. And that's why it takes us between six and nine months of travel in a spaceship to get to the planet Mars. So there you have it, a little demonstration of relative distance between the Earth, Moon, and Mars. So hopefully we'll see you again. Thanks a lot, everybody. And we're out, the Destiny module on the International Space Station.